Hey friends, this is Angelica. Today I am going to walk you through the new Have a Heart collection that's going to be in the greetery shop tomorrow, January 17th. We're going to look at all the products and then I'm just going to quickly walk you through a few projects I've made with some of the products. So we're going to start with the um, Hearts at Home toaster die. Now this is one of five dies that are in the hearts at home i guess like little series so this is the toaster and um it is a smaller die set it comes in this small package and then i snipped all the pieces apart so you're going to get the toaster you have the top of the toaster uh, the bottom the little lever it's so adorable it's got a heart on it um toast which I have inked the toast here with antique linen and vintage photo distress oxide inks. And then there's um, a die if you wanted to put pieces of butter on the toast or hearts if you wanted hearts on the toast. And then there's a little um, love that you can put on it also. My die set is a little different than the one that's going to be in the store. Mine came with a couple airs, but it was caught. So... Uh, the dies that will be available tomorrow will um, have all the correct dies in it. So here's a couple toasters that I um, glued together, a pink one and a blue one, and I put the hearts on the toast. So absolutely adorable. The next die um, from the hearts at home is the sweater die. And here's all the pieces that come with the sweater. You have the sweater itself, and it does have a slit in it, which makes it easy to slide this adorable little um, hanger into it. This is how I put mine together. Uh, I just put a little bit of glue right here, here, and here, turned around, snipped those pieces off. Um, then it also comes with your little... Uh, Accessories for the sweater, you got a heart, a collar, uh, these for the arms. Really easy to put together. These smaller pieces, it does help if you have tweezers or the little one of these um, wax and pencils. It makes it a lot easier to put it on the glue. Now I have two that I have already put together. All of these dies I have put together in a pink and a blue style so you can see the color differences, but I just absolutely love that hanger. It's so sweet. Next, we have the Hearts at Home light bulb die, and this is a four piece die. You have the light bulb, and you can see that the light bulb does have ridges to help you put the metal cap on. You can just slide it right on top of those ridges. It comes with two different wires. And how I put mine together is I can tell that the cap is going to be right here. So I want to glue the wire. I glued my wires. So like right underneath the gray card stock. And here's the style. There's um, more of a like a loop-de-loop -loop and it has a heart in it. And the, the cap die has two pieces to it. So the bottom piece, you can keep it, uh, whoops, there it goes. Keep it um, solid, like the gray cardstock, or if you have gold or copper, I mean, this is rose gold. Um, so, I, you know, I know light bulbs have the bottom, um, either like a copper or gold. But I have a couple pieces are a couple light bulbs I've already put together. This is, th these two are with the heart um, wire and then with the loopy wires there. And you can see I put the gray on the bottom. This one is hearts at home clock die. Now this, this die set is so adorable. You have the clock base, which I die cut in a in the darkest color red and then the for the for the clock face this die cuts your paper twice so it's going to give you your um, outline and then it's also going to give you the inside face heart face and I don't know if you can see that or not but the numbers are embossed so you can know where to um, glue the numbers onto 
So I die cut pink because I wanted the um, the outside of the clock to be pink and then I die cut white. So I'm gonna put these aside. So the face is white. The numbers I die cut with um, red card stock and you can see here the number die has all the numbers together. And then you have the top of the clock really easy to um, glue together for this part i just put drops of glue on um on the on these two areas and then you have your minute and hour hand so once glued together this is how they look um, you can get really fancy with this clock i left this flat but you could easily make this into a sh i think betsy actually made a shaker a shaker clock but if you have thin foam squares or like the like thin, not really wide foam squares. You can definitely um, add some depth to the frame or even just, you know, glue um, a few together to get some depth. That would be absolutely adorable. I just think, I think these clocks are so sweet. I love the heart shape. And then the last hearts at home uh, die set is the mug die. And when it comes, when it, when it comes in the package and all the dies are together, not snipped apart yet, these mugs will have the words in them. So I actually die cut a lot of red cardstock before snipping the words off. So um, I have a lot more for the future too. And I did keep the R because I wanted the little dot for the R to put on the mug. And then um, I clipped the dies apart and made white dies or white die cuts to set the mug on top of. Now the heart that's at the top of the die has little snips in it. So it makes it really easy to just get your detail scissors out and cut those little ridges and the heart just pops right out. And then you have, um, let's see right here. Then you have your little coffee mug edge. Uh, you have coffee or hot chocolate or how, whatever you want to make or <laughs> however you want this drink to be um, put inside. And then there's little marshmallows that you can decorate the hot chocolate with. So I have two put together here and you can see I have the little dot for the R. So here's a look at all of the Hearts at Home dies glued together. And they all of these coordinate with this adorable Hearts at Home sentiment stamps. There are sentiments for each of these. So you light up my life, the light bulb, I love you a whole lot. Um, I'm yours for all time. You make my heart tick. You warm my heart. You're the cream to my coffee. So absolutely adorable, punny, Valentine's, um, lovey sentiments to go with all of these. They make the cutest little note cards. Okay, so now we're going to move on to tear strips, tags, a Valentine stamp set. Um, this stamp set has three pieces for the tags, three different stamps for the tags. And these are, these stamps are one stamp. So you have three frums on here, all in hearts and two. So two and from, if you wanted to add two tags to a package, this one stamp has four different greetings on it for your tags. And let me show you what these tags look like stamped. So I have the um, full sentiments. I put this um, strip in my Misty and I stamped once, flipped it, stamped again. And then this is what the to and from stamp set looks like. And this stamp set coordinates with the tear tags die that came out in November. And you just line it up so your sentiment is in the middle of these uh, of the tag openings tape it down run it through your die cut machine and this is what it comes out looking like so you would just take your detail scissors and 
snip these tags apart. There's just, see, so they're not completely um, together. They just have these little areas right here that you would just snip apart on both sides. And you seriously can get so many tags done um, in a short amount of time. There's also a Christmas um, tag set and I used that Christmas tag set oh, so much last month on the Christmas presents. So I have all of these stamped out and die cut and I, so you can really see um, what they look like, especially these stamped in, in black and then stamped in red on pink. Um, the, the, each, each of these three, um, or there's four, but there, uh, there's a couple cursive, there's a couple just regular fonts, and uh, yeah, I just think this is such a clever idea. I love stamps that coordinate with one die. Dies can tend to get really expensive really quickly, and I love when companies just make a whole series around one die set. All right, so next up we have Hot Stuff Sentiments. This is a five sentiment stamp set in a really fun font. I love you, Hot Stuff, Hey Cutie, Be Mine, XOXO. And there is a coordinating die set. Um, and these, this is what the sentiments look like once you stamp them out, stamped and die cut. Um, I do have a project I'm gonna show, or a card I'm gonna show in a couple minutes where the Be Mine is on. Next, we have the roundabout heart die, and it's just a circle with dies or with hearts on half of it. It does die cut two pieces. You have the ring, and then you have an inside circle with a dotted detail to it. And I have four more circles I've die cut just to kind of show how full it can look. With two dies, you just have like a full circle of hearts. Um, three dies, it starts getting, I mean, obviously it gets a, a bit more fuller. And then four dies, I think is really, uh, it can make a really cute, like, doily if you wanted to do some sort of table setting, like a little tea party or Valentine's party. I have, um, a little girl, so I'm all about things like this now that she's getting older, her little girlfriends come over for craft parties. It's a lot of fun. I love working with dies like this like, that are really cute and dainty. This is the heart arrow die. This is a two piece die. It will come um, clipped together. I've already snipped it apart. And the main die, let me pull this out. The main die, die cuts just the shape. And then you have the detail die, which die cuts the little heart arrow, which I think is so adorable. <laughs> I, I think this whole release is adorable. I know I've said the word 20 times now, but you just um, put it right there. There is also a hot foil plate. Now I did not turn on my hot foil machine, so I don't have a an example for the hot foil, but I know that there's examples over on the Greedery blog. So this die does coordinate with the hot foil also, and then the hot foil is the same size as this arrow, just to show you. So I think this heart, I think this is a really clever and fun. And pink and red is my favorite color combination. So all of the projects that I'm going to show you in a couple minutes are all pink and red. This is the Falling Hearts background die. There was um, a die like this in the Christmas collection that came out in October. And it's a play off of that. So you just put it on your cards, on your panel, run it through your die cut machine, and it die cuts this lovely background. In fact, I have one glued on red cardstock so you can see all the little hearts and um, little dots, little die cut circles out, and then you have a dotted detail also. 
And the last of the release are two ribbon makers. There's the heart strip die and the scallop hearts die. And these um, are like infinity dies. They can just, they'll die cut on and on and on. Um, you just line up the edges with the um, last die, die cut that you did. So I still have a little bit of the heart attached to the pink ribbon. I'm doing a big project with the pink ribbon right now, and I'll show you that. But to continue this on through my die cut machine, I would just line up the die with these um, scalloped edges right here. Make sure that they're um, in place like that and just run it through. And I will get, you can go as long as you want. These rolls are 30 feet long. So if you wanna do the whole roll, I mean, you absolutely can. There is these two um, paper ribbon colors that are out now too, which is pink and lilac, well, out tomorrow. Um, there's also more colors in the shop that came out in November. So there's red, white, black, and craft. And in the lilac color, I have die cut the hearts, the smaller um, ribbon maker, and they're three inches, the ribbon's three inches long. So I actually did this with, uh, let me show you real quick. I actually, oh see, see how long this can get? Um, get that off of there. So I actually die cut one side and then move the die over here, die cut the other side so I could get as much usage out of this paper as I could. So this is this die, the heart strip die. So now that we've seen the products, let me walk you through the projects I've made. This card I made with the Falling Hearts background die, and it's just white on white. And then the heart arrow die made the pink and a red arrow. This is a Hot Stuff Sentiments and die cut with the coordinating die. These little boxes are um, the little sweethearts or... I forget what they're called, but they're little the the little Valentine heart candies. Um, I actually made these for my daughter's kindergarten class. I know it was a lot of time to put in, but I kids love to unwrap stuff, so I thought this would be really fun. The um, heart scalloped ribbon just fits perfectly around the box. A little bit of red and white baker's twine, and then I um, added a Valentine tear strip tag. So I have four of these to go. I have 11 more. Um, I have four of these done. I have 11 more to go. And then for this um, box of chocolates, I used the same red craft paper, but I did stamp the craft paper uh, with the hot stuff sentiments. I used all five sentiments to um, give myself or to make this a Valentine wrapping paper and then I read, uh, wrapped the scalloped hearts ribbon um, around and this is a box of chocolates that I wrapped for my friend. Um, I made this little note card to go with it with the hearts at home light bulb and a hearts at home sentiment. Wrote a little note inside. I did make a vellum envelope um, to put the card in and I chose vellum because I wanted that little that sweet little um, light bulb to just slightly peek peek through her name is Kathy my friend's name is Kathy so I um, closed the envelope with a bold letter K and let's see is that I think that's it for this one and I also I've been working I've been working a lot with this scalloped ribbon or scalloped heart ribbon maker because I'm also making a Valentine chain for my daughter's classroom. So, so far I have probably like a third of it done. So I'm just gonna 
I used the red uh, ribbon, um, paper ribbon that is in the greenery shop right now, and then the pink that will be available tomorrow. And I think I have 14 loops here. So I'm gonna make two more strips like this and then take them to my daughter's school. I'll have um, two connectors so she can hang them where she wants and then be able to connect the chains together. But I just thought that this was just the perfect width for a fun Valentine's chain for the classroom. So that is the new Have a Heart collection. I hope I was able to um, answer any questions that you had. I know it's kind of hard to picture what the product looks like when you're just going off blog pictures. So uh, let me know what you think. Is this going to be a product or a collection that you're going to be interested in? Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So um, can't wait to see what you all make with this collection. One last thing about the paper ribbon or the, the scalloped heart um, paper, the die, is that when, you are, when you're die cutting the ribbon, it die cuts these little hearts. And I've kept them because I am going to be putting them on the table. I'm sure Vera's going to want to have her a couple girlfriends over for like a Valentine's tea party. So I will be decorating the table with uh, these hearts. I have pink. I think I have the pink and red container. Or it's, oh yeah, here it is. Pink and red. So <laughs> something so simple, but it'll just really transform the table, especially if there's like a white tablecloth on top. Anyway, I want to thank you for stopping by. Take care.